with caution. What up my drunken fighters and welcome back to another video. This time we are going to review some of our uh, let's call them Jamie students, I suppose. You know, I I don't consider myself the best player out there, but I, I'm trying to do my best to help everyone as much as I can. And this is going to be another example. So we're we're actually ending. Um, the season is almost over. Akuma got revealed. Um, it's coming to an end. We're going to see new balance changes for every character, including Jamie. So I'm really excited to see that. But a year has passed now, a lot of knowledge has been passed on to a lot of people, but still there are people out there that need aid, that need guidance, and I'm gonna do my best to help sketch here one of our Jamie students to help him through his batches, see what he, where he can improve on, what are his mistakes, what are his strengths as well. And uh, yeah, without further ado, if you want to submit your own replays as well, you can do so in my Discord, there's a, a channel for there, like recommended replays or anything like that. Um, you'll find it, uh, you can submit your replays over there and I will use them in a video and give you uh, as much as help as I can. But without further ado, let's get into it, let's get into the first match with Sketch. Okay, versus Kami. Super fun matchup. Hmm, that's just unfortunate, you know? I'm thinking you said it. Oh my, okay, okay, let's go. Doesn't mess around. Air to air. That's very, very dangerous going for Karikomo just like that. Oh, no follow up. Nice, good block. Ooh, okay, the drivers there was not great to say the least. Puts you in burnout and now you're in trouble. Not much you can do. Target combo again. It's very risky. Yeah, the palm was too far away, way too far away. So far, what I what I can say is that um, I feel like you have to you have to calm down a little bit more in your gameplay. That's how it feels like how you're playing. Nice, okay, that's good. I respect it. It's okay, just take the throw. It's all good. Hmm. Okay, so in these examples, there's a lot you can do. Nice. Just to confirm, into Rekka, okay. Nice, the juggle, no juggle, once again. He can sweep after that. Gets the throw. Yeah, goes in. All right, looking good so far. Oh, yeah, that's something you can do when Kami's are ready. And that's critical art as well. Man, that is not a fun way to go out. Yikes. All right, on to the next one. All right. Game number two. Let's see what you got for us in store, Sketch. Wow, okay. Very, very delayed. Mmm, yeah, the neutral jumps. Good pressure from scene. Alright. Sometimes you gotta let it rock. I respect it, the pressure. Mmm, yeah. Defense seems, uh... Seems to struggle a little bit in defense as well, which is which is normal because this this game's defense is hard. Nice good challenge. Oh, not ready for the DI, and went for drivers as well. That's expensive. Nice. Okay, no drink. Oh, once again, poor drivers. Uh, Drive gauge management right there forces the burnout. Or put, or put yourself in burnout rather. Yeah, now you're in trouble. And I feel like this is where it also like yeah. This I feel like when you're when you're in burnout, you're also you feel like kind of lost on what to do. All right. Oh, 
Okay, that was the first set. I'm gonna go quickly over to on my notes and meet you guys in the training room. All right, first of all, target combo on block. Now, I tend to never use this. Sometimes it happens when I when I think I can get a combo and you know I feel to do it, but you gotta get rid of that habit. The reason for that is is there is no way you can keep target combo safe on block. Um, everything has a gap from drivers cancel to just Rekka um, to anything like that. So I put the dummy in this case Kami on OD cannon spike after three hits. So that means after three hits, if she blocks obviously that would be fan freaking tastic. She will do cannon spike. So. Let's say you're going for target combo and let's start off with trying to make it safe with Rekka. There, so there it is, Light Punch Rekka, there is a gap, one frame gap, mind you. Um, so yeah, that's not an option. So if I see target combo when I'm up against a fellow Jamie, I just mash DP. There's no way you're going to get punished 100%. If I try to cancel it into Dry Rush, and I went into jab after drive rush, I still get punished. So that's, it, it can be punished either way. It doesn't matter what you do, never ever go for target combo on block because it's the worst. Um, I, I guess you could do drive impact for example, but you know, um, that's, a, that's a risk on its own as well. We're not gonna talk about that. So try to get rid of that habit and only use it on hit confirms. That being said, uh, if you use this move for example, then you can get your hit confirm easily. Um, if you go for light strings, you can hit confirm easily, this one as well. It's all, all doable, all perfectly doable. And that's, that's where the strength of the target combo lies, is that the standing jab has a pretty decent range. So, it's easy to combo into it, it's easy to hit confirm as well. So, yeah, keep that in mind, try to get rid of that bad habit. Okay, next up is getting used to hit confirm jumping heavy kick. So, if you, if you get a regular jumping heavy kick, there's nothing you can do. You can see that the opponent actually resets in the corner. Or she resets in the air. She does like a little backflip and she's back on her feet. But if you actually get a counter, then you can see it actually forces a knockdown. So if that happens, if that's the case, then you have to practice to... You, you can do a lot of things. You can go for DP, if you want some corner carry and if you want some, uh, you know, you want to get a drink in. Um, but if you're close to the corner, for example, you can go for sweep. You can even get a couple of conversions as well. Imagine if you have Bakai. Do that, and you can see that um, if you do it into super, I think you can get a heavy too. There we go. Decent damage for just like an air to air. So yeah, you can you can do you can do a lot of stuff. You can also if you if you get into the corner, for example, you should be able to get like a double DP as well. There we go. You can do stuff like that, you know, to keep it simple. Uh, I think you can also actually force an uh, save jump with that as well, but that's gonna be tricky stuff, I think. I think that's it. Something like that. Yeah, 45. It's even too much. So you can get a save jump with that, but it's it's kind of niche. Um, in the corner, usually I just I just like to do uh, sweep. You know, you, you get plus four, you get to drink. You know, ideal situation. You can go for strike throw mix up. Um, so yeah, I feel like if you're in the corner, definitely always go for. Uh, sweep if you want to reset the pressure and uh, you know get some corner carry then you can just go for 
jumping heavy kick into like heavy roundhouse for example arrow kick and just get the drink so yeah comes down to get your hit confirms off of jumping heavy kick just look at the counter like you don't even have to necessarily look for if he's go about to knock down the moment you see counter hit appear on your screen then you know you can get a juggle and you know you get a lot more pressure like that okay so uh there were a couple of opportunities for you to um where you actually got a, a decent amount of uh, combos in um but you ended a lot in reka let's say I guess something like that i think you did something like let's say it was something like that something i think it's, it's not sure but Something like that, you know? You get to, you, you go for the drink ender as well. But the thing about that is your minus one, you don't have any pressure. So the opportunities you created for yourself, and this is the difference uh, than what the Kami player was doing. The Kami player was making sure that he was getting Oki, he or she was getting Oki every single time he attacked you, went in on you, or you had all you always had to think about a lot of options you were usually put in a 50 50 situation whereas if you had the opportunity to do damage then you usually always went for a drink level which is by with, with Eureka for example so um you do get a drink but you don't get the pressure sometimes it's just better to go for the pressure so i would love to see some more of your combos end in like um, if you do want to go for Rekka, you can, but if you go for the punch one, uh, you get 27 plus frames, but it's okay, you can go for drivers, but still not very optimal. The best thing to do in my, situ in, in my opinion is go for arrow kicks. If you get pressure, always go for arrow kicks, because those, especially the medium and the light version, those are going to be your pressure tools. Those are going to be the ones where you double dash. And you're gonna be plus four meaning they're in strike throw range if you have them close to the corner then you go for save jump because you're 42 you can do so much you can go for empty jump low you can go for jumping light punch into standing medium punch because it's a frame trap you can go for jumping light kick straight into throw you can go for jumping heavy punch and get uh, the hit confirmed look how much time there is i can even walk forward and still, and still it combos. Uh, you guys can't see the, the combo counter. Hang on. It still combos. Still combos. So, it's, it's, it's really strong. So, arrow kick in that reason is really good. If, and you can mix it up. If you go for medium kick, you can go for instant overhead. It is 9 frames on counter hit. Um, so, that means you can go for 2 HP. Something like that. Um, arrow kick offers so much more potential to to mix up your opponent, whereas Rekka does not at all. Minus one in the corner, and if you go for OD, then you're plus one. So there you could, for example, create some sort of strike throw situation, but it's not ideal. So. I get that you want to go for drinks, but sometimes it's just a better option, especially with Kami. You don't want to give her breathing room. Um, her dive kicks are really strong. Also, I didn't see you use dive kick while, but just to, just wanted to clear clarify that use arrow kick a lot more to your advantage as Oki. You gotta create pressure. You gotta force them to make bad decisions and capitalize on them as well. And last but not least for this match was your drive gauge consumption. Um, you gotta manage that a lot better. There was this one opportunity you had where you block the DP. Mm, let's put that on. Just put it on one. So you did something like that. Um, th first of all, it's not... Not necessary. I, I pro you know, you probably know this, but it's not necessary to go for drive rush in that situation, uh, because it it forces a crumple state, so you can just dash and get and still get a combo. Something like that. Um, it, however, if you want it to be optimal, 
then you want to go for that because that does more damage and you can still get a 2 HP out of it or crouching heavy punch and that's going to result into a lot more damage um, so yeah something like this that's something you could do if you don't want to spend super bar if you have one bar to spend you could for example do this Boom, drive rush. Something like that. It's not, mu it's not much more than Bekai, it's just a little bit of extra. And last but not least, if you want to spend all your meter, then obviously... Still 70% on that super because it's a link. And you almost got 6,000 damage right there. Um, so yeah. Super good. Super strong. Um, so yeah, keep that in mind. And uh, yeah, let's move on to the next match, which is going to be up against DJ. DJ. Well, DJ is, um, you know, definitely not a fun matchup sometimes. Broken Boy, character. Ending Walker has proven that time and time again. That being said, also a very... Yeah, that's punishable on block. Minus six. Good challenge from Shang Long. Oh, here we go. Baby. So much damage as well. Yep. This is... Uh, not looking good. Nice sweep right there. Yeah, he was ready. All right. So I feel like uh, you're, you're kind of, kind of struggling with approach as well. That was a good palm. Been a lot of bar, but you got your first drink. Yep. Typical DJ stuff right there. Yeah, there it is. Just a jump. Afraid of the fireball. You gotta just move forward in these cases. There we go. Oh, uh, there's a target combo again. You get punished for it as well. All right. You get some breathing room. Got him. I think you wanted OD for the level two, but it was not available. Oh, there was a beautiful confirming opportunity for target combo. Uh, what the? Wow. It was just, it was just sitting there. Some weird stuff going on here. Yeah, those are some big reads you're doing, and it, you know, if it, if it pays off, then you're still in a, in a in a in a little bit of a pickle because heavy heavy Bakai doesn't give you that much of Oki, okay, uh, especially without drive rush. Um, so yeah, it's 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 not, in my opinion, worth it taking a risk right like that or trying to get a read like that. Just gotta play it out. Um, so I feel like patience is definitely something that seems to be missing from from your gameplay. It, it might be it might be a lot of things. It might be the pressure. It might be um, a little bit of insecurity against the matchup or anything like that. Uh, but let's move on to game two and uh, see what we can find over there. Oh, you're not even in my uh, in my uh, what's it called? I can't even remember what it's called. My dojo or whatever. Shame on you. My club. Alright. Instantly getting DJ'd. Nice perfect parries. Nice. Okay, okay. That's good. It's good. That's your good clever. Mmm, he was ready for it. You gotta look at that as well. If you just see them turtling there, not doing anything, then they're just waiting for you to jump, then just walk forward. That's fine, take the troll. Okay, now you got an opportunity. Nice, okay, okay. Get the drink. Ooh, what? Oh no. Brother, you could have just jumped and not waste any drive rush. Mm. 
Okay, good, good. Alright. Nice. Well, see right there, right there. That was the perfect opportunity to go for arrow kicks instead. Okay, you got the pressure. Okay, that's fine. That's perfectly fine. Ooh, got a little bit lucky there. It's fine. Sometimes we take those. We take those. All right. Are we going to see you getting DJ? Okay, so to so see, there's a little bit of like not being, not knowing what to do. Like you're willingly actually putting yourself in the corner uh, because of the fireballs. There we go. Just going. Oh, there's a target combo yet again. Ooh. Oh, that's so unfortunate yeah I feel like in this particular matchup it's more of a, a knowledge check than than anything else uh, regardless there were a couple of things that I did note so uh, yeah back to the training room we go all right so first up after a stun you can do two things you can jump after one drink more than enough time or you can go for two drinks but no jumping normal um so you gotta decide what you want to do sometimes it's better to go for the jump so you can do more damage otherwise if you can't kill it's better to go for um to go for one uh, two drinks actually and just get an oki uh, combo going so if I can't kill them, that's, that's usually what I like to do. And I keep it simple. So I can get the save jump. And then he does that. And he can do big damage. Um, you can also, you can obviously do the same thing with just one. But... I don't know, if you can't kill anyways, then that's, there's no really a point of doing that. you're not doing it for damage because note if you get a drive impact stun the first hit is instantly going to do less damage it's instant 80 percent so there, there's no point um once again target combos were an issue and yeah I, I i feel like you gotta understand the matchup a little bit better as well so in terms of approach there's nothing wrong with just walking forward, parry, walk forward, parry, walk forward, parry, walk forward. Eventually, you're going to get close to them, and then there's going to be a drive. There's going to be a drive rush. You can ODDP. You can. It's versus DJ. It's a little bit harder to stop his drive rushes, but if you know they're coming, then like five LP is a good one. Two MK is a good one. Uh, those are options you can use. Um, and yeah, once again, I, I just saw a couple of things like in the corner, even the round where you won. Uh, once again, you just want to use more of that arrow kick and less of that Reka option uh, because you, you just get way more options from it as well you get to save jump um we talked about it before so it's it, there's a very similar thing going on with both of the replays from uh, both matches so that is that is where i feel like you struggle the most and in terms of approach like i said you, you gotta be you don't have to be scared of walking forward and See what they're doing. Learn learn from it as well. Don't try and just mindlessly jump because you think they're going to do a fireball. Because most of the times, the, the DJ player was ready. So you got to take your, your um, approach on the ground. And I know that's hard to do. It's not easy. Um, but it's going to be the most rewarding eventually um, for yourself as a player when you manage to achieve it. But also in terms of um, your health bar as well. Because you take less risk. So I, there's one basic rule that a lot of people forget, and it's probably one of the best rules to teach people when they're jumping a lot or, or dashing, is that when you dash or when you jump, you lose total control of your character. There, you, can do, you can't do anything. Yeah, you can go for jumping normal, but in terms of movement, you, are, you, can, let, you can let go of your stick because it's not going to influence what you're doing. 
It's not going to influence your character. It, I can mash whatever I want. Nothing's happening when I'm doing that. Same with dash. If I dash, I, can, I can't do anything in between. So there's nothing I can do. But if you walk all the time, if you just stand on the ground, you have complete control. You can do whatever you want, whenever you want. So, and so jumping or dashing is such a risk in itself because you give up control of your character. You can, you give up blocking, you give up walking, spacing, in and out. Um, you give up everything. So you're open to be punished when that takes place. So like going for a jump is almost the same thing as going for a palm, for example. Um, it, it's high risk, high reward sometimes. Um, so yeah, keep that in mind when you're trying to approach in this in this matchup. Um, I think there's a ton of, I think the even the last video that I released on my ranked matches was one with DJ as well. You can look at that too um, to see what kind of approach you need, what kind of different game plan I have in uh, in comparison to you, for example. But I also saw a lot of pretty good things as well, and you made it to master so far. So congratulations on that as well. Big achievements. So yeah, keep it up. Hope you learned something today. And uh, hope everyone else learned something as well from the explanation I gave to Sketch. Because it matters. You know, it can matter for all of you. Don't forget, as usual, to stay cautious. And I will see you all in the next one. Take care.